Hey guys, so I want to talk a little bit about my attitude lately on YouTube and why I have been the way I have been. And I also want to discuss like, because I know sometimes my comments can come across a little bit more rude based on the wording, but you'd have to hear my voice say it, right? This is just in general, okay? Um, sometimes it's... You know what the worst of it is, though? I think the real reason with my attitude on here has been because I can't... Like, I don't... Like, I'm seeing... Even in the foodie beauty reaction community, I'm seeing all of this where, oh, she should be not... She shouldn't be eating red meat. She shouldn't be eating fat. She shouldn't be eating... She... No. That, that should be the bulk of her diet, red meat, as, as should all humans. Red meat should be the bulk of your diet. Yes. And I'm sick and tired of the balance, balance, moderation. How do you moderate this stuff is my question. How do you moderate it? What do you do? And I'm, I'm not going to use that smug tone, okay? I promise. I'm seeing it though in the foodie beauty reaction community, in the, you know, in all these other communities like the dietitian space and whatever. All these other dietitians that aren't, you know, um, you know, like, cause former fat girl, like, she isn't, like, she isn't against carnivore. She's not against it. Like. Because, like, any, any dietitian that isn't former fat girl. Because Dr. Barry's a doctor. He's only learning about diet because he wasn't taught it. And he's, he's, you know, curious. He's not an actual dietitian. Right? Dietitians don't know crap about nutrition. Unless they're people like former fat girl. And maybe a few others that haven't made YouTube channels yet. Right? Um, who was that Christine, the healing naturopath or whatever the heck? She was a naturopath who does carnivore. She, I think she has a low thyroid or whatever. She says not too fast, for example. And that's how you can prevent low thyroid. And what I want people to understand is we carnivores hear it all the time. It's not just me. It's not just um, Carnivore Quest. It's not just... I bet you even Dr. Barry's gotten it. In his early days, in particular, when he first started carnivore, people are like, are you insane? We're keto. We're not carnivore. We're supposed to be omnivores. We're supposed to eat plants. Maybe not all the time, but we're supposed to eat plants. I'm not going to argue with you about the fact that we ate plants 200,000 years ago. I will not argue that. I will not argue that. All right? We did. The difference is now we're being told that they're everything. They're the center of everything. They should be the bulk of your diet. Limit your red meat. Limit saturated fat. Limit cholesterol. We've, we've heard it all before. And, um, and they also call it orthorexia, which is so... I won't address the actual video anymore, but I'll, I'll, I just want to talk about this one. Somebody literally called me the keto freely. I'm sorry. Am I out here flashing my butt and like slapping my legs and my hips? Am I, do, am I doing that? Like showing my, my body off like, a, like how freely does? Am I doing that? No, but you're telling people how to eat. Because it's important. Look, all I'm saying is... Sorry, that was angry. I didn't mean to sound... If it did, if you did hear a bit of smugness, I didn't mean that. Because the smugness is more like... <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't like it. That's a smug, okay? That's not what I'm trying to do this time, okay? But no, that is... I'm telling you how to eat because... 
because I'm seeing the plants affecting everybody in a negative way. Do you know how many kids now have type 2 diabetes? That was known before as the adult version of diabetes. Like this diabetes was only seen in adults before. My friend got it at 12. Type 2. Not type 1. Type 2. She doesn't take insulin. So it's type 2. People are mixing up the types of diabetes. Type 1 you need insulin. Type 2 you don't. It is prolonged exposure to all of these plant foods that we're being told are healthy. And the seed oils exacerbate it. Alright? I'm not going to bash you for... I'm not bashing people for eating plants. What I'm trying to get across to them though is you need to reconsider. Alright? If I'm coming across that way, it isn't my intention. And I apologize for that. Okay? I'm an INFJ, all right? We don't, sometimes we don't realize we're, we get ahead of ourselves and sometimes we, and sometimes we get a little, we can be a little harsh at times, but we can also be the nicest people ever. We can, we're contradictory and I've said it over and over again since I discovered I was one. <laughs> I'm an INFJ. And I'm proud of that. And I will embrace it. Because there's so many great aspects about me that I appreciate and that so many others appreciate about me as well. All right. I listen to my inner dialogue a lot, though. I will say that. And it's not a good thing. I get myself down about a bunch of different stuff, like things that happen in my personal life, some of the videos that I see, some of the... Look... The comments that I write sometimes, I let the inner dialogue write the comment for me. And sometimes it might come across a little harsh, but sometimes I will verify, like, if, if I think about how my comment comes across, I will say, I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but, you know, whatever. But sometimes I don't even care enough to say that because I'm just like, I'm frustrated with it. I yelled at somebody in the, in the foodie beauty reaction community, I'm sick and tired of this red meat bull crap. It's 2023. I think it was 2023 at that time. It's 2023. Do your dang research. Red meat is not the problem. Oh my gosh. Stop. I was yelling in that comment because I was getting so sick and tired of it. I have been eating almost exclusively red meat for four years. With a few like sprinkles of fish and cheese and eggs and stuff like that. I did it like a month of turkey. Guess how long I lasted? I think I lost weight doing that. No, I friggin' hate turkey. I hate chicken. I don't ever want to eat another turkey or chicken. If I'm made to. I will not eat it unless, like, you know, what's. that's all they have, right? That's not, I, I'm not... If somebody's, like, telling me to eat the turkey rather than the red meat or whatever, no, I'm going to eat the red meat. You're not telling me what to eat. But I, I explain how to eat. I say how to eat because there's too many people suffering. All right. There's too many people suffering with type 2 diabetes, uh, c conditions that are caused with, by in inflammation just as a whole. And they want to tell me how I should be talking to people. No, I'm not going to listen to all of that. I won't listen to that. Okay. Please understand that. I don't mean to hurt anyone. I don't like to hurt people. I, I laugh sometimes when people get triggered by me. I do. I, I will give you that. I, will, I laugh. I laugh. It's like, how? how? How does that... Look, I'll make you guys a deal, okay? For those who are still eating your balanced diet and your, your, your plants, you're promoting plants, Healing properties of plants, which I don't believe fully in eating plants every day, okay? What I believe in is plants are for medicine only. They're not for food. Or in very, 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 very teeny tiny amounts. Not in the amounts a lot of people are eating them. They're eating giant bowls of salad and potatoes and, I mean, like, four 
three, four potatoes, depending on the size of the potatoes. You know what I mean? Or the person. <laughs> They're eating heaps of potatoes and starches and, 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 and beans and, and stuff like that. No, we're not meant to eat plants like that. We're not meant to eat them. They're, they're for medicine. Okay? I don't care. Like, potatoes are for starvation. All right? Starches are for starvation. That's what they they were for back. That's what we were eating to bulk up for winter. To put some fat reserves on us so that we could have some fat for the winter. We're not meant to keep that fat on. That's We're not supposed to keep gaining and gaining and gaining fat. We're not supposed to keep doing that. So you have to adapt your diet. You have to eat seasonally. That's usually what I suggest. If you're not going to go carnivore, eat seasonally. Eat whatever's around. Don't eat the same foods every day. If you're going to eat plants. And stop eating. Don't eat the rainbow. Don't listen to those people. Don't listen to those people. The rainbow is bullcrap. The rainbow is bullcrap. Oh. Whoops, 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 whoops. There. All right. Yeah, the rainbow's bullcrap. <sighs> Look, I'm making this video partially because I'm having really bad luck lately, and I'm superstitious. INFJs are kind of those people we, we can get into, like, we can be a little religious at times with, with certain beliefs and, and superstitious, and we have, we have certain beliefs, okay? And I believe my attitude does deserve an explanation. All right. We've tried it all. And some of the carnivores have been vegan before carnivore. And you know what they often get? Oh, you're just... You're just... Um... Now you're just, you're just orthorexic. You're orthorexic. There's something on my arm, what the heck? You're orthorexic. Why can't you just eat a normal diet? You're discouraging them. I know my attitude can discourage people and I'm sure it has, and I'm sorry. I really am, okay? I, I don't, but I'm just tired. All right, we're all tired of hearing the bullcrap being spewed from your fingers and your mouths. We're tired of it. All of us. Every carnivore who's been there before, I tried following the standard diet. I went vegan for four years. I did this and I did that and blah, blah, blah. Nothing worked. The only thing that worked was carnivore. Finally, I'm off all my meds. I don't even need the statin anymore. I'm not taking it because cause I, I learned that if I'm eating the right things, I don't need to take it. And that is true. If you're eating the right things, you don't need the statin, guys. You don't. Dr. Barry says if you've had a heart attack and then had a, had a stint put in, then maybe, maybe there's a slight chance it might. But I wouldn't hold my breath on that you know it's very slim that you would need that he, he doesn't he doesn't i don't know but my point is guys we've heard it all before and carnivores there's carnivores out there that are very like they they don't they believe within their heart of hearts that um they, like, they don't care. They really don't care. If that person wants to eat, like, look, well, in the end of the, at the end of the day, I don't really care either. But, but, you need to understand that there are repercussions and things could happen. Bad things. Right? And there's too many people out here crapping all over carnivore and we're tired of it. We're tired of it. We're done. We're sick and tired of it. All of us. I've seen so many other carnivores push back against it too. Homestead Howe was one. Why not just eat the balanced diet? He, he put a video up with that title. Please, don't. Just. Here's the deal, people. Put some respect to our names. You, you obviously respect vegans. A lot of you. 
A lot of you. Oh, I know plenty of vegans that aren't pieces of trash. And I'm sure, I'm sure maybe there's a carnivore or two you might be able to find within your friend group or family group that isn't a piece of trash. Carnivores are only pieces of trash if you trigger them. You can trigger them. You can trigger them in different ways. It's not like, it's not like you trigger us by leaving, like, by leaving a comment like, go vegan, go vegan. That, that won't, you know, we'll, we just laugh at those. But we are tired of hearing the same old, same old all over again, right? Like, just eat a balance, just eat moderation, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to do this. Actually, we do. We had, we've had way too many health issues. I did eat what I thought was a balanced diet. I ate everything. Guess what? I still suffered. I, it would not have changed if I'd gone vegan either. It wouldn't have. I, all right, I, so please put some respect to our names. Be respectful with your... And the thing is, I think part of the attitude as well is because you guys give me attitude. A lot of a lot of you that have commented that's not just this one or other... Like, I have two subscribers that do not give me attitude. Two. Only two. Everybody else, all they've given me is, um, you're not this. Ketovo doesn't exist. And you're just... You're stupid. You know nothing. That's what causes that smugness to come out. All right? So if you want to criticize me, do it constructively and use, like, tell me what I'm doing wrong, okay? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And then I will cut the attitude, okay? If you want some more respect given to you, you have to give the respect to me. If you want, you, you earn it. You have to earn it. It doesn't just fly out of thin air. All right. I don't respect people who, who just say the same crap over again and don't constructively criticize me. All right. I do apologize if I've been a little, I, I do. I understand what I've, I, I understand, I get it. I'm not everyone's cup of tea and I'm not even the nicest person sometimes. We can be that way, we're cold sometimes. We can be, we can be nice and warm and then we, we can be freezing cold. You know, that's the way the INFJ works, okay? Keep in mind, at the end of the day, we just won't respect like everybody else, all right? Don't be saying stupid stuff. Don't be making stupid claims. Because you're not that that just dampens my respect for you. Okay? You're triggered by something I say. Well, tell me how it triggered you. Tell me what I sh what I could say that might help better. It's, I don't know. But you respect is earned. You have to, you have to give your respect back. Like, I'm not going to give you respect otherwise. I'm just going to, I'm just going to give you attitude back. You give me attitude, I give you attitude. You give me respect, I give you respect. You, you make fun of me, I make fun of you. All right? Like that person I called car brain. I make, I make fun of them because they made fun of me. All right? Just... And the voice that, uh, that voice, the one that I use and I go, oh, my curves the balance, blah, blah, blah. That voice, I'm sorry, that's just the way people sound to me when they're saying stupid stuff. Do you want me to change that voice? I mean, I can, if it, you know, I don't know. I need to, I need respect back. I need, like, if, if you want me to, you know, treat you the way you want to be treated, then you need to treat me. You should be treating me the way you want to be treated. And then I'll treat you the way you want to be treated. I'll treat you the proper way. I will give you proper criticisms. I won't, I won't, I, I haven't deleted any of your comments, by the way. All of those videos are still up, too. And... 
I, I would love to grow as a channel. I would. But how can I grow, you know, if I'm not... If, if people don't like me, right? But I just don't get an ounce of respect from the other... The only commenters I get, I get half the time are just my best friend that I talk with online. One of my best friends. And somebody that I've, I only ever really saw, I think I saw them once somewhere else, but I only really saw them in um, Robert Kilt's chat before too. It's the only other place I've seen them. Yeah. Uh, mad respect to Robert Kilt and Anthony Chafee. They're very inspiring. Very, very inspiring. Do I agree with them? No. I like to poke a little fun at Bart K too. Mm -hmm. We poke fun at each other. Come on. Even some of the balanced dieters poke fun at each other. You're eating way too much fish. Eat less. Oh, you're eating way too much grains. Eat less. You're eating too much sugar. Cut back on the sugar and eat more veg. Uh, you know, there's so much. There's so much. People everywhere making fun of everyone. <laughs> so come on, guys. It's the internet. Live a little. Laugh a little. And, of course, be respectful. Be respectful. I don't think I can set guidelines. I, don't, I think that's a monetization thing. Like, you can set guidelines for comments, but I don't know how to do that. Like, it says guidelines for this channel. I've seen that before on other channels. I don't know how to set that. Um, that might even be for monetization purposes only. Um, so I probably can't set that. That's okay. Just be respectful. And, and I'll give you respect in return. Okay? Thanks, guys. Hope to see you all in the next one. And hopefully it will be another reaction. I just, I, this just came to mind. And because I'm having so much bad luck lately, I thought maybe this might help. And I am willing to grow and improve as a person, but you have to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because half the time, I don't know. If it's the smugness, I'll get rid of the smugness. If it's the, you know, but you have to give me respect. You can't just put comments out there that are like, you know nothing, you're a stupid, you're an idiot, you're a murderer, you're a this and you're a that. Just eat a balanced diet. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. It, it really doesn't. Think about it. It, otherwise, make a comment about who I'm reacting to. <laughs> All right? If you want me to change something, you have to tell me what I should change. Although I can't change the fact that some people are just wrong. Okay? Sorry. I can't do that. That's, it's hardwired into me now. Because I've been carnivore for four years. Keto for, well, keto for two, carnivore for two. Anyways, guys, that's it for this. I will see you in the next one. Okay? Later, guys. Carbs. <laughs>